This is going to be today's project. We are embroidering a hoodie with an applique design. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jen. This channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable. This one has been long requested and I've been wanting to do it for a while. And that is how I hoop and stitch out a design on a hoodie. You may remember this pink gem from my Goodwill shopping trip. I think it was around $4. So it doesn't have to be super expensive if you want to try some cool projects on your embroidery machine. As always, I'll be using the Brother PE800 embroidery machine. Check out the playlist because I've got videos on everything from setting it up to using it to some common problems and various types of projects you can do with this wonderful machine. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to explain more about why I decided to do this specific project and choose the word for the sweatshirt. It's got some meaning to it. To make things easier, I pre-cut the applique shapes out. I used a rotary blade to slice through quilting cotton backed by heat and bond light. If you want to see more about this technique, there's another video on the channel explaining the process of creating SVG cut files. It's something that's made applique infinitely easier for me. Let's get started on the hoodie. The first thing I did was find center points to work off of. The neckline had a clear middle where the sides of the hood meet. Toward the bottom, I folded the pocket in half to find that center point and marked it with a disappearing ink pen. Draw a vertical center line by connecting the two points. This is a clear flexible ruler and it comes in handy for this. Then I did the same thing horizontally, using the underarms as reference points. That seemed a bit too low for the design, so I used that line to mark another one a few inches higher. Medium weight cutaway stabilizer is what I chose for the job. I've had issues with the stabilizer shifting underneath my materials in the past, so I tried a new approach. I turned the sweatshirt completely inside out, stuck a pin in the center of my lines so I could see it on the other side, sprayed a little temporary adhesive over the area, and that held my stabilizer in place. I did have to reinforce the edges to keep those tacked down. When I turned the sweatshirt right side out again, the stabilizer was still stuck to the inside and I smoothed out a few wrinkles on top. I like to go over the surface with a lint roller to remove any fuzz. This all made hooping the material easier. I'm using the 5 by 7 inch hoop and it has markings on the middle of each side to match up with the lines on the sweatshirt. I've been adding a piece of water soluble topper to projects. It's not absolutely necessary, but I do think it helps keep the stitches from sinking into thicker material. The outer hoop goes on the bottom and the inner hoop on top with the fabric and stable sandwiched in between. These layers were pretty thick so I loosened the outer hoop and pressed everything together well. Over at the embroider machine, after the initial placement stitch, I laid down each letter over the outline so it overlapped a bit over it. Then the machine does a tack down stitch and finally the satin stitch. Now all that's left is to trim the loose threads and cut the jump stitches. Rip off the water soluble topper and cut off the excess stabilizer in the back. Oh yeah, and don't forget to fuse the applique pieces with a small iron and a pressing mat inside the sweatshirt. You know, I've had this hoodie for months and I've had a hard time figuring out what to put on it. I mean, this is obviously kind of a statement piece and you might be wondering why did I choose the word hope? I know that's kind of a universal platitude, but for me, it also is a BTS ode. If you don't know, I'm a huge BTS army and my favorite member of the group is J-Hope. So I thought this was a bit more of a subtle nod to J-Hope versus it being super obvious. I can wear this around and people are just like, oh, that's a cute hoodie. But I will be wearing this hoodie when I travel to Las Vegas to see BTS live at the Permission to Dance on stage Las Vegas experience. I got tickets. I'm really jazzed. I am going and I just cannot believe that I'm going to be seeing BTS live at the concert. I know they haven't been traveling much the past few years, but they're going to be in Las Vegas for the Grammy Awards already. So they announced that they're going to be doing four concerts at Allegiant Stadium. I've never been to Las Vegas. I am going to be doing some vlogs over on my personal channel, Gen Talks Forever. I do have another channel where I do non sewing and craft stuff. And I did do one already on how I ended up getting the BTS tickets. It was a bit of a process, but I was really lucky and I got pretty good seats. And I'm also gonna be doing like a one I'm packing for the show video. 
and hopefully doing at least one vlog just about my experience traveling to see a BTS show. I know I barely go anywhere and I'm pretty much a hermit, so that's pretty strange. But this is one of the things I will be wearing and bringing with me on the trip. I don't know if I'll be wearing it inside, but I'll definitely be bringing it with me. So I'm sure there's gonna be some places where it will be cold. So if you'd like to see those adventures, go subscribe to the Gen Talk server channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And if you'd like to see other embroidery videos, I have quite a few of them here on the sewing report. Anyways, I'm Jen. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.